some of those two and call it the Wedgehog won't. That's the third. Next up, Warhog. Start destroying two in the CD Dreadnought XT1. In the pit for the melee, the Dreadnought team are back. This time, Dreadnought XT1, which stands for... Experimental prototype number one. But this is your fourth. You've been here since the beginning. It's yeah, changed a bit, but you've got the original chassis, yeah. and you've beefed up the uh, the forks a bit. They're more powerful. Not right. as fast as they were before, but hopefully they'll listen. But they're electric on it, so they're never going to be that fast. But no. it's flow piercing action. Right. right. It's fast in reverse. <laughs> it's fast in reverse. Here we have the Warhawk team. Hello, guys. Oh, uh, How does this work then? Right, okay, this works. Do you mind sticking the pin out there? Yeah, that's it. By spinning around, pretty fast. Try out the for a minute. It's a very heavy disc, this, uh, unlike that uh, hidden disc thing. Uh, yeah. It's a bit more powerful than that. You know, stop it now. And those little uh, spots right. there are going to gouge. Or gouge, one, one, one at the bottom and to strip them up, and one at the top to kill. That's pretty thick. I think that's going to take some more serious damage. Yeah, right. Finally, the Dark Destroyer. Powered by a Pergo turbo diesel starter motor, so it's a seriously powerful robot. Although the weaponry leaves you a little bit short, I think. Uh, you describe this to me as a waggler. This is a yeah. key weapon here, it's just waggles, brilliantly. It's got two, though, importantly, a, a few spikes. Basically, this is just going to work as a big battering ram. If any robot comes up the front here, we'll hopefully get flipped or shoved into the pit of the house robot. Still plate and aluminium. The motor comes from car spare parts and the spinning wheel weapon inspired by hypnotists perhaps rotate so fast. Will this hog the limelight? Hi, I'm Tim Chapman. This is Paul Stevenson. This is Paul Stevenson. I'm Matt Chalmers. And this is Warhog. Warhog's one of the many spinning robots, but this is a spinner with a different because it's a heavy spinner. <laughs> It spins at about 500 RPM, the so weight is about 30 kilograms. We hope to do well. From the Legion in Warwickshire, the number 29 team, Dreadnought and Watch. Will it create north for dread for the existing fort weapons? Will it go further than the last series when Trident beat this fiberglass protected machine with its wheelchair motor zero turning circle for dangerously high ground clearance? It has had experience though. Ever present, they fought in every series of robot wars. The driving skills and aggression, Raptus Raptus, for example, here defeated so easily, but then Trident was too strong in the last series. Hi, I'm Ken, and um, this is Dave, my brother in law, and this is Faye, his daughter, my niece. And we're the Dreadnought team. This is our robot, Dreadnought. As you can see, it's a sculpted body shell made of fiberglass, pretty solid. And these are our main weapons, which are solid steel forks. We're going to skewer and lift the opponents. Now, the Wacklers are actually electric motorized spring loaded high speed axes. There you are. The bulldozer scoop the spikes mean this time it may not be all darkness for the destroyer. Last time around, the weapon was a lawnmower blade, too good for Sergeant Meikle, and then T2. But no self running mechanism against Grayson. They were looking for revenge. Grayson was gone. Hello, my name's Rob Dutch, team captain of the Team Destroyer. This is my son, Chris, uh, the driver of the robot, and George is the logistics. This is our robot. Its main weapons are fast moving axes, sprung loaded. Uh, for chop and slice. We've got a ramming front, a bulldozer front, with sharp spikes for uh, doing carnage. We've also got spikes on the side for glancing blows. Our other weapon is a leading edge off the back so we can reverse under the robots and hopefully tip them up. There's the Warhog team from Hull, Colin Hare, Work College, Paul Stevenson and Mark Chalmers, Dreadnought, the family team from Nuneaton, and Dark Destroyer, Rob Dark, son Chris, and George Murrell, the friends. George Murrell also described as a strong man of the sea. Dark Destroyer backing onto Dreadnought, here comes the spinning Warhog. That great spinning blade. 
Meanwhile, the Dark Destroyer backing on the Dreadnought. They spin together. There's the Wagglers. But we thought they were going to be devastating weapons. I'm not sure. Oh, something's happened there to Dreadnought. It was from the spinning blades of war. Look at that. Shattering off the side of Dreadnought. B1. The fiberglass shell doesn't look too strong. This machine does, but what mobility? Yes, we know you can spin. Warhog. Yes, do we, do we, do we? Get back into the action, the hog. Run away, look. Like a, a madden spinning cop. Away it goes. Oh, crap. I dodged him to the fairground. Oh, Dreadnought. Dreadnought moves very, very slowly towards the Dark Destroyer 2. The eye is peering on the back of the Dark Destroyer. The Waggler's, um, um, um Waggler, uh, Warhog spins, but actually is supposed to spin against the opponent. I think he's doing some sort of disco dance just for the benefit of, uh, Killalot. Killalot's more of a sort of a hip-hop, uh, jungly beat dancer these days, actually, the Hog. A little bit old-fashioned with that one. And Killalot comes in, and Dead Metal's in there as well. Dead Metal's played, we saw, the pinchers do. Red Fox stands on one side. Oh, barbecue pork. Mmm, can you smell the barbecued pork I'll have a loin? Oh yes, uh, Warhog ready for the pork chop. I hope so. Into the pit. Yes, no. He's away from the burning, blazing pit. Now I can just see a little flicker, a little tongue of flame perhaps. From the top of the Warhog, a singe or two. Dead metal with a blade. Oh, go on, a slice or two, carve him up. Oh, look, a spare rib can be seen inside Warhawk as the front comes off. Oh, and also in comes Dark Destroyer to push him away from the arena flipper. Now, I think the hand robot just wanted him to be flipped, but the Dark Destroyer wants more action. What's going to happen here? Shunt closes in on the Warhawk. Warhawk's out of it. Oh, the way. What's Killalot doing? He's taking on Dreadnought. How about his bang out of order, Killalot? Dreadnought was okay. Still in the fight. The hand robot should not have taken him on. And they see killed the Dreadnought. Well, well, well. I don't think Killalot should have done that. Certainly Warhog out of it. What's going to happen to Killalot? Send him off. Well, Warhog promised so much, but then lost power. Dreadnought and Dark Destroyer too. Hey, they go through. Was a collision with Dreadnought, and then what happened? Well, we got done quite a while. Uh, wait, about, about uh, 15 foot, something like that, and um, I think maybe we saw some electrical damage in, in there. I mean, and he's done mechanical bits in there, but he's not With friends like that, who needs enemies? The Warhawk go out. Dreadnought and Dark Destroyer through the heat semi finals. Uh, Dark Destroyer 2 will line up against Sonic the Wedgehog. Dreadnought, the seeded robot left against Thermidor.